Imagine a world without personal computers, where the exchange of information takes days, not seconds. In such a world, the first computers came to life, colossal machines with limited abilities. These mechanical giants, often filling entire rooms, were the exclusive domain of universities and large corporations. Personal use? That was a concept as alien as the computers themselves. Yet, as the wheel of progress turned, the 70s were on the horizon, ready to ignite a revolution that would change the world forever. In 1975, the Altair 8800 burst onto the scene, hailed as the first personal computer. This wasn't a machine you could just plug in and start using. No, the Altair 8800 was a kit, a collection of parts that enthusiasts and hobbyists would painstakingly assemble into a working computer. And once you'd put it together, there was no friendly user interface to greet you, only a panel of switches and lights. Programming knowledge was a must. Yet this didn't deter the dedicated. Instead, it ignited a revolution. The Altair 8800, in all its complex glory, fueled the dreams of those who saw the potential of personal computing. It was the spark that ignited a movement of innovators and tinkerers, individuals who would push the boundaries of what was possible. And so, the personal computer revolution began. The 1980s would see these machines become a common sight in homes across the globe. The Apple II, the Commodore 64, the IBM PC, these machines brought computing into our homes. As the 70s rolled into the 80s, computers began to shrink in size and grow in popularity. Suddenly, families were huddled around these devices, mesmerized by the possibilities. The Apple II, introduced by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, was a spark that ignited the home computer revolution. It was a complete package, with a built-in keyboard and color graphics, making it accessible to the masses. Meanwhile, the Commodore 64 offered affordability without sacrificing capabilities. It became the best-selling single computer model of all time, providing a gateway to the world of computing for millions. IBM, a giant in the business computing world, launched the IBM PC, solidifying the importance of personal computers in our lives. These machines were not just tools, they were gateways to new worlds, new ideas, and new ways of thinking. The 1990s would usher in a new era of user-friendly computing and global connectivity. Windows 95 revolutionized personal computing, making it more user-friendly and accessible than ever. This wasn't just a software update, it was a cultural shift, a whole new way of interacting with machines. The start button, the taskbar, the concept of plug and play, these were groundbreaking innovations that would shape the way we use computers even today. Meanwhile, another revolution was brewing, the internet. Prior to the mid-90s, the internet was a tool of academia and the military. But with the advent of the World Wide Web, it became a global phenomenon. Suddenly, people were connecting with others across the globe, sharing ideas, stories, and experiences. It was a new frontier, a digital wild west, where anything seemed possible. These twin revolutions transformed the personal computer from a luxury to a necessity. And as we'll see, the innovations didn't stop there. The 2000s would take personal computing on the move, freeing us from the confines of the office. The shift from desktops to laptops marked the birth of the age of mobility. In the 2000s, personal computers began to shrink, becoming more portable and decidedly more personal. Laptops, with their compact design and wireless connectivity, opened up new possibilities. They allowed us to take our work, our games, our music, our world, wherever we went. From coffee shops to airport lounges, from libraries to parks, we were no longer tied to a single location. Personal stories abound of individuals seizing this newfound freedom, working remotely from stunning locales, or simply enjoying a movie in the comfort of their bed. Laptops truly transformed our relationship with computers, making them an integral part of our daily lives. The 2010S would see personal computers become sleeker, more powerful, and more specialized. Ultrabooks and high-performance computers empowered creators and gamers like never before. As the decade unfolded, we saw the birth of sleek, ultra-thin laptops, packed with power and ready for anything. These Ultrabooks coupled with specialized gaming computers transformed the landscape of personal computing. They brought about a new level of performance, enabling creators to design, edit, and render in unprecedented ways. Gamers, too, experienced immersive gaming like never before. Today, personal computers are more integral to our lives than ever before, and the future promises even more exciting developments. Today's PCs are more than just hardware. 
they're gateways to AI and cloud services. They're now seamlessly intertwined with intelligent algorithms and vast digital clouds, expanding their capabilities exponentially. As we look to the future, we can only dream of the innovations that await us. From bulky, complex machines to sleek, powerful devices, personal computers have come a long way. The journey has been remarkable, reshaping society and influencing every facet of our lives. As we move forward, the personal computer will continue to shape our society and future, forever changing how we work, play, and connect with the world.